We're real excited about our recruiting class of 2012. We, Northern State University, we signed 39 players to the National Letters of Intent, uh, Conference Letters of Intent. And uh, first of all, just a, a tremendous uh, amount of credit's got to go to the coaching staff. Our guys have just been uh, tireless with their efforts on the road, uh, recruiting in schools and homes, um, and then bringing guys in for, for visits. We had a, a lot of guys in for visits over the, basically December and January of the two main months. Where we brought just a huge amount of guys in for visits, and, and uh, our, our coaching staff was, was outstanding in their diligent efforts. And along with that, I want to thank the, the whole Northern State community, really, um, when it comes to administration, uh, faculty, instructors, just all the people that help us with recruiting. Uh, we've got you know, uh, several hotels in town that help us, uh, several places where we get meals from when people come on campus that we're, we're able to feed them. Uh, Aberdeen Chrysler Center has been phenomenal giving our, uh, our, our coaching staff vehicles to use when we go on the road and when we have got students on campus and just, just a ton of people. If I start naming too many specifics, I'll, I'll forget somebody, but just a, it's really a community effort and it's really a team effort. And, we're real excited about the group of, of players that we signed and our 39 players that we signed. We really made it a priority to get the best players we can from the immediate area. And that, that starts in South Dakota. And we signed uh, 15 players from the state of South Dakota in this year's class. Uh, 11 players from the state of Minnesota. Uh, so 26 of our players uh, were from South Dakota and Minnesota. We signed two from North Dakota, one from Iowa, and one from Nebraska. So really just gives you an example of 30 of our 39 players were from the immediate area. We did go outside the area a little bit, uh, signing seven players from Arizona and, uh, and two players from California. But uh, ultimately, we've really made it a concerted effort and made it a priority to get the best players we can from, uh, from South Dakota. And with the addition of these 15 players, we, we've got approximately 45 players on our team from the state of South Dakota. And that's really exciting for us to, to get the base, the nucleus of our team from South Dakota. Uh, basically, uh, you know, we, we were able to sign uh, about... Uh, 18 or 19 players on each side of the ball. We, we signed a couple players that were really kind of churning as athletes that could play a lot of different positions and we'll really plug them in where we, we feel they could best suit our team. So uh, what I'll do is uh, is just start uh, with, uh, go through a list of the, of the guys and we'll go in alphabetic order and give a brief synopsis about the, the great recruit, recruiting class we were able to sign. Uh, I'll start with Evan Aaron. Evan is an offensive lineman from uh, Robbinsdale Armstrong in the Twin Cities. He's a uh, Big, big man, 6'8", and about 320 pounds. So obviously his size is the first thing that jumps out at you. You watch him play, he plays with an aggressive edge, and he plays uh, real hard and, and a big athletic guy. And I'm real excited about Evan's upside as an offensive lineman in our program. Staying with that theme in, in alphabetical order, I'm not sure how it worked that way, but uh, Jacob Adam, Jacob is the uh, same thing. He's about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, He's a, about a 270-pound offensive lineman from Thompson, North Dakota. A very good athlete, plays on their basketball team, having a very good basketball season as well. And uh, you just see the athleticism from him as well when you uh, when you watch Jacob play basketball and when you watch him on the football field as well. So we're real excited to, uh, to have him in our program. Mike Anderson is a linebacker from Sioux Falls Roosevelt High School. Mike's a real active, athletic guy who you just notice running around, making a lot of plays, has a real nose for the ball, played on Sioux Falls Roosevelt's state championship team this past year. And then we signed uh, two, two players from Del Rapids High School, a Channing Barber. A Channing is uh, with the quarterback for Del Rapids State Championship team, and we project him as the defensive back here at Northern State. Real athletic, fast guy, ran on their 4x100 relay team that won the state championship last year, and he's a winner. Been involved in a lot of state championship teams, state, state tournament teams. Uh, also, his brother, Zachary Barber. Zachary uh, played wide receiver. We're going to project him to play here at Northern State. Same thing, Zachary, real athletic fast, move, um, moves around real well, made, made a lot of plays for, for uh, Del Rapids High School in their uh, championship team. Tycarius Brooks is a defensive back from uh, Brooklyn Park High School, Park, or Park Center High School, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Uh, real physical player, runs around, uh, makes plays, does a lot of good things uh, in the open field, and you just see him make a lot of plays in the open field. Bobby Brown is from Spring Lake Park High School in Minnesota. Bobby's a wide receiver, could potentially be big enough to play tight end for us. Uh, but you get to see a big athletic guy who goes out and catches the ball, does a lot of things well in their offense, running routes, catching balls, blocking, all the things that he was asked to do. Uh, John Caspers is an, a transfer from Iowa State University. Uh, John will have two years remaining. He played at North Dakota State College of Science. 
John is from Bird Island, Minnesota originally. Played actually for our offensive line coach, Coach Mike Schaefer, when Coach was at North Dakota State College of Science. Went to Iowa State for two years, and basically we'll have two years remaining at, uh, at Northern State. And we expect uh, John to come in and compete for playing time immediately. He's 6'6 and about 290. Shelby Dillard is a linebacker from Perry High School in Phoenix, Arizona, in, in East Valley Chandler High School. A big athletic, about 230 pounds athletic guy that runs around, makes a lot of plays in the run game, but you see him do a lot of things out in space too. And Shelby's a, a physical presence who's a real good football player. Connor Doherty is a tight end from Brookings High School here in Brookings, South Dakota. He's playing on their basketball team, which is having a good season. So you get to see his athleticism on the basketball court. But i uh, like to see just watching Connor play with the physical play that he had and the athleticism that he showed in the pass and run game. Uh, really going to be a good, good tight end in our system. Uh, Steven Erlinson is a running back. He's from Breckenridge, Minnesota. Really had a highly decorated college, uh, high school career and scored 41 touchdowns, had over 4,000 yards rushing, and actually missed a good chunk of his senior year with uh, uh, some of a variety of injuries and uh, scored 25 touchdowns as a junior. And so uh, we think Stevens a, uh, a complete back. He can, he can uh, run it. He can go out and catches it well. He can block people. And it just showed us a lot of things from a physical standpoint. Has also been a state runner up in, in Minnesota State High School wrestling as a sophomore and a junior and state qualifier track and field. So it gives you a good idea what type of athlete Steven is. Uh, Zach MD is a uh, quarterback from Saddleback College in California. He's currently on our campus, enrolled in classes. He transferred here at semester and uh, saw a lot of good things out of Zach, and we, we just thought we needed to. We currently, at the end of the fall semester, had uh, two quarterbacks on our roster total, and we just felt we needed to create more depth and competition, and we expect Zach to come in and push our current quarterbacks, uh, Jared Jacobson and Shane Erickson, at the quarterback position. Apollo Ford is another uh, player who's enrolled in classes here at Northern State. He's a nose guard from Glendale Community College in uh, Glendale, Arizona. And Apollo's a physical guy who's a real active and a, and a playmaker. Excited to have Apollo on our team. Brady Greenwald is from New Ulm, Minnesota. Uh, New Ulm Senior High, real uh, big physical guy who's at our camp this summer. Saw a lot of good things out of, out of Brady. Excited to have him in our program. Trevor Heining is from Atwater Cosmos Grove City High School in Minnesota. Uh, active athletic linebacker. You get to see him run around and, and, and make plays, but plays real physical too. That's probably the thing that jumps out at you about, about Trevor. Uh, Taylor Houchin is a running back uh, from Rapid City Central High School in Rapid City. State qualifier, state place winner in the, in the 100 meter dash last year, so his speed really jumps out at you when you watch him play. But he's a guy that makes people miss, ch can change directions very well. Also, was their team's kicker, one of the best kickers in the state as well. So, uh, Taylor, just a real good all around athlete. Uh, John Hughes is a running back from Glendale Community College uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, John also came here at the uh, semester, so he's been enrolled in classes and been working out with our team you know, since January. Uh, John had a real storied high school career. I think he scored 38 touchdowns his senior year at Centennial High School. We, again, look for John to come in and, and, and compete for immediate playing time in our program. Thad Johnson is a guy from, uh, he's from Tri-Valley High School in the Sioux Falls area. Uh, played on their state championship team, real active, uh, athletic defensive lineman, and uh, state uh, one of the best wrestlers in, in the state at his uh, weight class. Garrett Kaiser is a linebacker from Chandler, Arizona, Basha High School. Uh, Garrett's an active guy. You, you see him run sideline to sideline, make a lot of plays, and Basha was one of the better, better teams in the state of Arizona, and Garrett was a big part of it, why, a big reason why. He ran around, made a lot of plays, real active player um, who does a lot of good, did a lot of good things for Basha High School. Uh, Kyle Cranbrink is a, a defensive lineman. He is from Williams Field High School in the, the Phoenix, uh, Arizona area. Uh, Kyle uh, actually played mostly offensive line in high school, played some defensive line when he, when he was younger. We're projecting him as a defensive lineman, and we like his speed, we like his athleticism, we like the way he, he plays the game with an edge. Uh, Cody Kraft is a tight end from Timberlake, South Dakota. Again, a, a multi-sport athlete, plays football, basketball, does a lot of things. You see him just as a big athletic, uh, physical tight end who runs around and catches the ball well, but you see him blocking people and doing a lot of things there. Just like his athleticism, like his size, we feel he's got tremendous upside in our program. Tanner Lopez is a uh, defensive lineman from Chandler High School in Chandler, Arizona, actually the younger brother of 
Dallas Lopez, who's on our currently on our team as a fullback. And like uh, Tanner's athleticism, like the way he plays, he actually played offensive line in high school, but we project him as a defensive lineman here in our 3-4 scheme. Dakota Oderman is from Armstrong Ringstead High School in Iowa, a very uh, or decorated high school player, made a lot of plays, was a, I believe, 51-4 is what his team's record was his, uh, during his high school career, and you see Dakota's all over the place. He's a physical player, makes a lot of plays um, in the run game, you see him do a lot of things versus the pass as well, and he's a, a real physical player, real physical specimen, going to be a good fit at the inside linebacker spot for us. Tyler Oftedal is from Eagle Valley High School in Minnesota, is a uh, quarterback, uh, again, a guy that we identified who was at our camp this summer and uh, showed us a lot of good potential as a thrower, a big guy, 6'4", 190, 200-pound quarterback who uh, moves around well and throws the ball extremely well. And we're excited to have Tyler in our program. Joe Parsley uh, is a defensive back from Flandreau, South Dakota, and uh, Joe was on a state championship team as a junior, played quarterback, played defensive back, very good high school basketball player as well. You see Joe do a lot of things athletically on the field, and uh, a great student as well. Joe's uh, comes from a big family, one of ten children in his family, and uh, so he knows how he's got to, he knows how to fight for things. I guess he's been doing that most of his life. Joe's a uh, tremendous athlete, going to be a, a great addition to our program as a, as a safety. Tyler Robel is an offensive lineman from Watertown, South Dakota. Big physical guy, one of the top rated heavyweight wrestlers in the state of South Dakota currently. And uh, we just saw a lot of good things with him. Has the potential to possibly play defensive line as well. Just from a physical standpoint, he's 6'4", 275 pound athletic guy. Also a standout shot put and discus thrower as well. So another multi-sport athlete. Austin Russell is a defensive lineman from Wheaton, Minnesota. Uh, played in the state championship there at, for Wheaton High School. Uh, see tremendous upside in him as an athlete and uh, just was really a dominant player at his level of, of, of play in high school. Jordan Russell is from uh, Oshkosh, Nebraska. Played linebacker, again, another multi-sport athlete, one of the top-ranked wrestlers in the state in his weight class and uh, did a lot of good things at the linebacker position, which we've really wanted to emphasize in this year's recruiting class. Casey Seiler, another linebacker from Lamore High School in Lamore, North Dakota. A uh, real active athletic guy, you know, tough guy, plays a fullback, played linebacker, you know, just a playmaker, runs around, makes a lot of plays, but plays physical as well, and a real hard worker, a weight room guy that's really going to be a good fit in our system. Uh, Chris Sandresky, another big offensive lineman. He's 6'5", 260, he's from Maple Lake High School in Minnesota. Big athletic guy, we project him as a guard or tackle at the college level. I think he's got tremendous upside when you watch him play as a high school senior, and when you look at his frame, how much weight and size and strength he'll be able to get the game. Austin Schmidt is from St. Thomas More High School in Rapid City, one of the best high school programs in the state of South Dakota, ha has been for the last several years, and Austin's, a, again, a guy that was at our camp this summer. We identified him then as a, as a physical, tough player who is uh, going to be a good addition on our offensive line. Adam Schultz is from Fairmont, Minnesota, wide receiver, uh, really a playmaker, Catches the ball well, does a lot of things after the catch. Um, Multi-sport athlete as well, and, and just saw a lot of good things from Adam in the recruiting process, and think he's a top-tiered uh, wide receiver for us. Chad Stottero <clears throat> from Garrettson, South Dakota, was a uh, all-state player for them. Again, a multi-sport guy in several sports at Garrettson. We just like the physicalness that Chad has already, and his size potential, how big and physical he can become someday is going to be exciting to be a part of, but, but uh, again, a physically mature guy who's, who's really a lot farther along than most high school guys are from a physical standpoint and athletic plays a good basketball player for Garrison High School as well. Excited to have him. Matt Thorson is a multi-sport athlete from Groton High School. Really been involved in everything, football, wrestling, track and field, uh, baseball, soccer. Really has done everything in his, in his uh, career at, at Groton and, again, was a, a big reason that uh, Groton won their first conference championship in several years, and uh, Matt played quarterback and defensive back. Uh, we project him to be a safety in our system. Like the physical plays, I believe the top-rated wrestler in his weight class currently in the state of South Dakota. So, uh, just an all-around great guy uh, in terms of uh, academics as well. Very good student and real, uh, real quality individual as most of these guys are. But Matt's just a, a top-notch guy to have in our program athletically as well as academically and off the field as well. Adam Weizar is from Bowdle, 
South Dakota played at Bottle, Eureka Bottle High School, multi-sport guy, football, basketball, track. Project Adam as a linebacker in our scheme, but played several positions in, in college at uh, Eureka Bottle and, and showed a lot of good things. Bryce Williams is a linebacker from Mariposa County High School in California. Actually, he's the younger brother of one of our current players, Matt Williams, who's one of our linebackers. Bryce, a big physical guy, a linebacker, 6'3", 210 pounds. You, you can see he's aggressive physical style of play when you watch him play. And uh, does a lot of good things, again, sideline to sideline. But a physical guy within the box, and we think he's got pretty good size growth potential at the linebacker position. Uh, and then we got our second set of twins. We talked about the Barber twins. Uh, uh, from Del Rapids, we got the Zemlicka twins from Waverly South Shore High School. Again, part of a South Dakota State championship team. Uh, Taylor was the quarterback there. We project him as an athlete at the college level. We think there's several different positions that he could play. Uh, just unbelievable uh, statistics as a high school. Uh, I think he's thrown for over 5,600 yards and 74 touchdowns in his career. Uh, Multi-sport athlete, real involved in a lot of things. And uh, just... <laughs> Did a lot of, lot of things for a lot of years at Waverly South Shore High School. And then his twin brother Tyson as well as a wide receiver, a little bit bigger. Again, we project him to play, maybe play wide receiver or several other positions on our team. And uh, just, I believe, one of the few guys in the history of the state to have over 2,000 yards receiving. Um, they, you know, these two, uh, the, the Zemlicans were the captains of the, uh, of the Argus leader, uh, the Elite 45 team, and played on state championship teams. And, Great personalities, just going to be great guys to have in our program from what they bring you athletically, but just their personalities as well. And then Cody Zimmerman is a wide receiver from Desert Mountain High School in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, Cody was a, really a difference maker, a playmaker, catches the ball well, and you just good to see him do all the things uh, he does after the catch, making people miss and looking to score touchdowns, and just a real, real dynamic playmaker type of guy. So. That's a, a real quick uh, synopsis of our 39 players. You know, we I uh, mentioned about the, the states where we got them from. We, we've got a kind of a family feel to our group. Talked about the Zemlicka twins. We've got the Barber twins. Uh, Stephen Erlinson is a twin brother as well with his brother Greg. And then we've got a couple players, uh, Tanner Lopez and uh, Bryce Williams, who've got players on our current team as well. So we've got, got kind of a unique storyline there with the twins and the brothers and stuff. And, and uh, just a... Uh, a well-rounded group of guys. When I, you know, as I went in and explained each guy, talked about each guy, you know, just a lot of multi-sport athletes, and that's really what we look for. You know, certainly we want to have guys who are going to be good football players, but we want guys who are going to be, you know, who are athletic guys that can do a lot of different things and fit well into our scheme here in Northern State. And, and certainly, the exciting thing for us is just the fact that they want to be here. You know, they felt Northern State was a good fit for them, and uh, not only academically. And, and athletically, but just as an individual, being on our campus and seeing all the great things that we've got going on with our with our new student center, and certainly with the with the addition of the Barnett Center and our 10,000 square foot weight room, the 27,000 square foot addition that we've got here are just fantastic things to be a part of, and, and uh, just our campus itself with record enrollment. And just excited to have this group of guys be in our our signing class and and, uh, and continue to push on with uh, you know with our current players have established and coaches and push on with uh, Northern State football for the future.